Hello people, how are you? Hope you're doing well. My topic for today is faith in God. And I will define for you what faith in God is and how we can have strong faith in God. And it goes like this. Faith in God means having confidence that God is every, that God is good and that He is on your side and that He's always working even if you can't see it and I'll take you through the ways in which we can have faith can have strong faith in God and one of the ways is focus on God's character um, unshakable faith in God is based on the character of God so hands focus on God's character, our faith is strengthened. If you focus on God's care, caring nature, God's um, God's um, power of deliverance, God's uh, chastisement, amongst ETC, that means that our faith will be strengthened. And I will take you through the book of First Peter, chapter five, verse six to seven. First Peter, chapter five, verse six to seven. And it goes like this: Humble yourselves under God's mighty hand, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast your anxiety on Him because he cares for you. So, uh, just know that God cares for all of us and that he's always, he's always there when we need him. Number two is focus on God's power. God is omni, omnipotent and uh, he has power over, over nature. He has power over all creation. And so, uh, once we focus on God's power, our faith in God is strengthened. And I will take you through the book of First Corinthians, chapter one, verse nine. First Corinthians, chapter one, verse nine. And it goes like this: God is faithful who has called you into fellowship with the Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. So, God is always faithful and he will never let us down. Number three is focus on God's promises in God's word. Uh, God's, God promised to do certain things for you. So, once we focus on what God has promised to us, uh, concerning our lives, our faith in God will be strengthened. And God has been faithful uh, to his promises or throughout the Bible and many of his promises have been fulfilled. And I will take you through the book of Romans chapter 10 verse 17. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 and it goes like this consequently faith comes from hearing the message and the message is heard through the word about uh, Christ so faith comes by hearing the word of God and once we have confidence in God's word our faith is strengthened and I will take you through the biblical verses about faith in God and they include the following number one is John chapter 7 verse 38 John chapter 7 
verse 38. And it goes like this. Whoever believes in me, as scripture has said, rivers of living water will flow from within them. Number two is John chapter 20, verse 29. John chapter 20, verse 29. And it goes like this. Then Jesus told him, Because you have seen me, and if blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. Number three is Mark chapter 11, verse 24. Mark chapter 11, verse 24. And Yeah, it goes like this. Therefore, I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it, and it will be yours. And finally, number four, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 to 6. And it goes like this. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your understanding. In all your ways, submit to him and he will make your path straight. That is all that I have for the topic for today. If you've learned something about faith in God and if you've been blessed by this video, you can comment down below. And have a good day.